Every time I come to Daytona, I'm just filled with so much emotion. This place is absolute magic. First time I came here was 1983, I was 24. I knew then that I had to come back here, I had to race here, I had to win here. Then I came back and won at 90. <laughs> There's always so much anticipation leading up to this race. Daytona has a way of giving it to you a little bit if you're fortunate enough to win the race. It seems like it takes more than it gives. Every time I drive in this tunnel, I think back to 1990. That day was something special. I'll tell you one thing about this race. If you had to pick one word that epitomizes this race, the 500, it's elusive. This race is elusive. Just to win it once is something amazing. It means so much. It's life changing, life altering. Everybody comes here, 40 guys. 39 leave in total despair. <laughs> Only one leaves in triumph. Still remember the victory lane, closing my eyes and feeling the warmth of the sun on your face. Very few get to experience the thrill of winning here at Daytona. So many feel the agony, and more times than not, me included. But somehow, the disappointment always fades. come back here with renewed optimism, excitement, all the near misses and all the crashes and all the misery goes away. All you think about is this race, this opportunity to do it all again. Daytona. As I said, first time I came here was 1983. When I won it in 90, it looked the same as it was then. One row of grandstands, the one big grandstand in the middle that had the Unical suite where I went to after I won the 500, and toasted champagne. This area right here, the Tri-Oval, the loosest you'll ever be on this racetrack. So much air movement here, there's no, the least amount of banking. This is where the cars get light and if you don't realize it, it's a lot narrower here than you think it is, especially now walking it. <laughs> you look here, you put yourself in the car, and it doesn't look like there's much room. But on the racetrack, there's a lot of room, sometimes too much. Coming to a checkered flag here that's meant for you, that's something <laughs> super special. Very few get to feel that. You're coming to it, but normally somebody else gets it first. 1990, I got it first. The flagman waving that checkered flag. You really don't see him until you get close because you're looking out the rearview mirror and out the back of the car trying to block and trying to thwart off the effort of the guys behind you. Most of the time, that's what Daytona's about, looking out the rearview mirror than more than you're looking out the front of it. This is a game of defending, four hours of defending. Here you are, 50 yards from the finish line. Obviously, I had gotten by Earnhardt in turn three. Coming to uh, off of turn four, I knew that if I stayed wide open, didn't lift, that Terry Labonte and Bill Elliott weren't gonna get me. I knew I had the momentum. I knew that uh, the amount of car lengths that I had between us was, uh, was gonna be difficult for them to overcome. And about this point right here, one last ditch effort from Terry to move down, but I knew he had nothing for me. And I knew that I was within, you know, feet. It's probably the hardest race to win. You gotta run four hours, 200 laps around this place. Engine failures, flat tires, you get hit on pit road. You know, somebody else makes a mistake and wads up the field in front of you and you get a part of it. 
you know, you make a mistake and hurt somebody else. So many factors, and we've experienced them all. But the one that uh, you want to experience, and that very few do, is the fact of getting to this point, getting 200 miles and crossing the finish line right here, the checkered flag. You just won the Daytona 500. Now you have so much reflection about what it took to get here. Your father, the mentors, the people that believed in you, the companies, the presidents of companies that sponsors you, all those people, all what it took to get here just really comes flooding back at that moment. And it's a culmination of, of all the work and the heart and the desire to get to this point. And truly was uh, a day you'll never, ever forget. Daytona has a way of doing that to you. That's why I love coming here. Thank you.